Hi, I'm Hal, and I'm the founder and president of the Marker Board People. And I'd like to start by asking you a question. Do you know what makes a dry erase board a dry erase board? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. A dry erase surface is simply a solid, smooth, non-porous surface, usually white in color. When we exhibit at these national educational conventions like National Science Teachers, National Math, International Reading, and ASCD, we consistently get asked the same question. One question goes something like this. Hi, our school bought some student dry erase boards. It was from another company, and they're all stained and ghosted. Is there anything we can do? We tried cleaning them, but they still look bad. And they're not very old either. We never used to have this problem before. What's going on? Well, back 15 years ago, all the educational catalogs only sold real dry erase boards. You could find different sizes and different prices, but regardless of the catalog, they were all non porous dry erase boards. They were all goof proof. Unfortunately, that's all changed now. Today, about 9 out of 10 of the vendors and educational catalogs are selling pretend dry erase boards. That's right, pretend dry erase boards, defective product. Over 91% of them are selling you low quality, semi porous product. They used to sell the real deal, but pff, good luck today. Many whiteboards and so called right and whiteboards are little more than a coating of white enamel paint on a board. You see vinyl, sheet protectors, and really anything flexible, they're all semi-porous surfaces. No wonder markers can soak in and stain them. These dealers may tell you, oh, you should have erased your board right away. Or, oh, you used the wrong dry erase marker when you come to them with a problem. What? The wrong dry erase marker? Get real. They should not be charging schools real money for pretend dry erase boards. That's my opinion. Our products will still never permanently stain, even if written on with the wrong marker. We can tell you how to clean it off. Because they're still a non-porous, goof-proof surface like all of us used to make. We still do.